you will need to authenticate the remote site as the system admin. Click Check In to get the newly installed Check In app. Click App Setup and then click Authenticate twice. You will then be taken to a web service authentication site where you simply select Allow. And that's it. Select Check In, then Sales App. Select Accounts to open one of the accounts, for example, Salesforce.com. Note that we have added two fields. One is the geocode address, so you select whichever address you use, for example, billing. And that's typically shipping and billing addresses in Salesforce. You select billing address and click save. Wait a couple of seconds, then refresh the page. You will note that the geolocation, latitude and longitude of this address have been populated. With geolocation, an account can be displayed on a map. So next, select Accounts, then select All Accounts. The accounts that have been geocoded will be displayed on a map. This is the Salesforce headquarters in downtown San Francisco. Of course, you can select one or more to display on a map. We will now check in on an account. Select Accounts. Select one of the accounts, ABC Incorporated, and click the check-in button. Note that your location is captured on the browser. Click check-in to confirm. Then refresh the page and scroll down to the related activities list where a new activity or event has been created. This activity includes the check-in time, the check-in location, and a map with two icons, the account that was checked in at and the user's current location. The activity is also accessible from the calendar shortcut, note in blue. You can also create an event or an appointment and assign it to a different user. So I'm the system admin. I'm going to assign an event to a salesperson. I'm relating it to account ABC and I have a start time of 11.30 a.m then I save it. From the group calendar, if you mouse over the event, you see the details. Next, we will log out as system admin and log in as sales rep John Smith. We will also be using the Salesforce One mobile app instead of the browser interface. We will open the appointment that was assigned to us at the event and we will check in on this event simply by clicking the check in button. We then confirm by clicking the button again. The mobile user can also check in and check out directly from the accounts. So if you select from the main menu accounts, select ABC that we just checked in on and simply click the checkout button. We confirm that we already checked in, then check out. Just like that. With the Find Nearby Accounts feature, the sales rep can view nearby accounts. Select the account, for example, in this case, Salesforce One, and check in from the Accounts Details page, just like we did earlier on ABC Incorporated. We will now log in as the system administrator to review the check-in activity. From the calendar, we see two appointments by John today. One is at the salesforce.com and the other was at ABC. From reports, we can choose the check-in summary report, which is included in the check-in application. This report will list all check-ins within a given duration, grouped by date and by salesperson. Note that the check-in visit duration is 8 minutes. We can also view the data on a map from the check-in app location analytics. You can select John, the date range, and then select check-ins for the day. You can then display them on a map that will show the check-ins in sequence and connected by a straight line. 